graphing inequalities. These three problems are inequalities because rather than having an equal sign like an equation, they have an inequals or not equal sign, a greater than, less than sign. So, in order to solve them with one exception, they're no different than solving equations. And then we're going to graph the solutions. So, in order to isolate the x to get it alone, we have to subtract 2 from both sides. That leaves us with 3x is greater than 3. Divide both sides by 3. x is greater than 1. And you notice we keep the equal sign lined up, or the greater than sign lined up, just like we would an equal sign. Now, in order to graph this, I always start with the most important point in the middle. And in this case, that's 1. Now, x is not equal to 1. It says so right there. x can't equal 1. We represent that by putting an open dot at 1. But x is greater than 1. Where are the numbers that are greater than 1? Well, 2 is certainly greater than 1, but so is 3, and so is 0.5, and so is 1.5, and so is 1.1. So, the way to show all this infinite number of points that are greater than is to show that part of the graph of the number line shaded. Now, let's take a look at the next problem. How do we isolate the x to get it alone? Well, add 5 to both sides. 5's are gone. x is less than or equal to 11. Well, I'm going to put 11, 12. That's 10. And if we cared, we could put more numbers on 9. In this case, x can equal 11. So we have to shade the 11. Or x could be any number less than 11. And that is all these numbers here stretching down forever in that direction. So let's take a look at the third example. We want to solve for x, get the x alone. We're going to start by subtracting from both sides. That leaves us with 2 thirds x is greater than 1. Now we have to get rid of that 2 thirds. And the way we're going to do that, the way we always do that, is multiply by the reciprocal. Because the 3's will cancel, the 2's will cancel, and we're left with x is greater than well, 1 times anything is just that thing. 3 over 2, or 1 and 1 half. So I'm going to put 3 over 2, or 1 and 1 half, whichever way you care to think of it, there. And then up here somewhere, this would be 2. And then down here, this would be 1 with 3 over 2, or 1 and a half, between 1 and 2. x cannot equal 3 over 2, so we have to leave an open circle. But x is greater than 3 over 2. Well, on which side of 3 over 2 are the numbers greater? This way. So that's the direction we shade. I have three more examples ready to go. And we're going to have a little bit of a difference here. We have to pay attention. That negative sign is going to make a difference. But to start with, subtract 2 from both sides. Negative 4x is less than or equal to 8. Divide both sides by negative 4x. That's going to be negative 2. 
Now here's the trick. When you multiply both sides or divide both sides by a negative, you have to flip the unequal sign, just like we discussed in class. So you end up with negative 2, negative 1 would be up there somewhere, negative 3 would be here. X can equal negative 2 because of that, or X is greater than negative 2. Greater than negative 2 means this way. Now let's take a look at the next example. We're going to start by subtracting 1 from both sides. Those are gone. X divided by negative 3 is greater than 3. Well, how do we get rid of this divided by negative 3? There's a couple of ways to look at it. One, we could multiply by negative 3, but my favorite is to think of it as multiplying by the reciprocal. The negative 3 and the negative 3 cancel, leaving x is greater than negative 9, except it isn't greater than. We have to flip the inequality because we multiplied both sides by a negative. So it's actually x is less than negative 9. So I'm going to put a negative 9 there, a negative 8, a negative 10. Open circle because x cannot equal negative 9. Shade to the left because there are where the numbers are less than negative 9, negative 10, negative 11, and so on. And one final example. I wanted to do one with a zero because those zeros sometimes just confuse the heck out of people. We're going to add 8 to both sides. 2x is less than 0 plus 8 is 8. The zero's not of any consequence at all. It's just another number. Divide both sides by 2. x is less than 4. 4, 5, 3, open circle at 4, x is smaller, the numbers that are smaller than 4 are this way.